We've moved house in a new apartment. This is the new uh, office slash studio. It's not finished up. It's sort of like the walls are very bare at the moment. We've got literally one picture hanging here. Um, I'm going to share with you a bit about packing my case for a trip because I realised I did this. Um, 10, no, 11 years ago, in February 2009, uh, I showed what I put in my case for my workshop. Another reason why I did this is someone asked me what equipment I use, and I'll go through the equipment that I use here as well. And another thing is this is going to be tied into a podcast that me and Juliana are going to record over the next few days and release. So if you want to hear that podcast first, go over to uh, the patreon.com forward slash Luke Burridge and check out the podcast. The podcast is going to be about um, creating juggling acts which take too much packing, too much technical equipment and bigger equipment to actually be able to do a juggling show easily and travel with it. And what I'm about to show now is like like 13 years worth of traveling with my show, flying with my show. In fact, two different shows, two different 45 to 50 minute juggling shows that I can travel with. And it all fits here in my case. And this case is about six kilograms. I built it myself. It's made out of like wood and wood panels. And then this is sort of like just, uh, what do you call it? Like sticky, sticky tape, sticky, you know, tape. sticky service. Sticky tape. Well, it's not aluminium, but it looks like aluminium. And then the corners and strips and uh, I carry around with me um, in my case, different little bits of this tape to edge in case they get, it gets damaged while traveling or with performing. Um, this is in, on the show. Everything that I do comes out of this case. It's got legs on, uh, on it as well. And it's very sturdy. Um, because I also use it for doing roller bowler. So uh, I also do a roller bowler knife juggling act and other roller bowler stuff on top of this case and it's got these legs so if you think about this is going to be about so high off the ground. I used to use longer legs and then I fell off it once and knocked myself out and I was like I don't need to be that high up I can actually be just slightly lower so now I'm a little bit low on stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack my case and go through all the stuff that I use in my show and uh, and how I double up on equipment and double up on, uh, different, uh, on different things that I use so I can um, maximize the amount of show that I can do with a minimum amount of equipment. All right, the first thing that always goes in my case is actually really the case itself because this is a, a base that I put down underneath below the legs uh, and that just fits down there in the bottom and uh, because I designed this case myself and built the case myself uh, that fits perfectly. And uh, here's the roller bowler board and that goes in there next as well. Um, of course I say I made this myself, it's literally just a bit of plywood and then I uh, just put some um, oil and varnish on it to make it look uh, pretty cool. Um, the next thing I can put in is the roller bowler but of course this is a lot of space here inside the roller bowler so I actually fill that up with some uh, babash 10 centimeter stage balls. I use this in my show for an audience participation routine where I put the ball here and grab it and throw it up. And there's a lot more to it than that. And that's like 10 minutes of my show. One of the funniest things I do in my show. Three of those balls go there. And then what I do is uh, Diablos. I, I do Diablo in my show. I always take two Diablos around with me. These are Sun Deer um, bearing Diablos. I use bearing Diablos because if something goes wrong, uh, it doesn't immediately mean a tangled string on, on stage. And that goes in here like this. You see, it's all very, uh, all very efficient. But of course, I always take two Diablos around with me because if one goes off the stage, bounces off the stage or gets tangled up, I have two. Of course, I always have two sets of hand sticks as well. These have just come un untangled a bit. But uh, yeah, you can, I, I always take these. These are um, Henry's hand sticks with Henry's string. I like the Henry's aluminium sticks. I don't like the ones with the hollow handles that you've got to put the string down through it. I don't like them. These ones, you only use up this much string, extra string for each time that you tie a knot rather than using all the way down here. And because I've replaced a string before every show that I do, I'm using two strings per night and I don't want to be, you know, using up too much string. Uh, the string is, is Henry's Diablo string as well. And I use this because it doesn't have a core. It's just the outer outer part of the string, which means if you push it together, it doesn't bind up, it doesn't expand out uh, and, and follow the core. And that's really good for avoiding uh, knots on stage. So I put bits of tape on it like that. That's You can't see that from the audience, but that is just for me to know which is the hand sticks that I want to use in case like I use this one in my first show. So I know that then I'll use these ones as the default sticks in the second show. And the ones I use in my first show are then just be the spare for the second show because then this will be perfectly clean and tidy. All right, they can go in pretty much wherever. Rings, these are color changing rings. I make them color changing myself. I have a whole video about how to do that. And these are beard thick rings. They're, these are prototype rings, a bit thicker than normal. You can't really buy 
buy these anymore, but uh, that's what I use. Like that, it fits. it fits in. The legs of the case, let's pop these in here. Like this. And you see it all just slots together. Big rings. Um, I use these for um, two different things in my show where I do combination tricks. So these are the things which you can, you can, uh, you can spin around your arm like this. Uh, and I also do them in a juggling trick with a combination trick thing. Well, they just slot in there. Oh. That doesn't. That wasn't designed to do that. When that just happened, they just happened to fit in there as well. Everything comes on a thumb drive. All my music and videos, but I always have backups on CD and DVD. This is a mouth stick, uh -oh. and I spin a ball, and the ball spins on top of there, and then that just slots in into the corner there like that. These are the uh, balls that I use for ball spinning when I do combination tricks and that mouth spinning trick as well. And these are from Decathlon. These are yoga balls. And what I do is I chop a hole out of one of them and then put another one inside it. And then when you blow that up inside it, it gets that double layer. So it's nice and thick, but spins really well. I travel with these deflated. Um, and also because they are this weird thing, they do actually pick up marks and things like that. So I always, when I'm traveling with these, I always put them in inside a bag to uh, to travel with a bit like that they can just go just go in there no problem at all with the show that I do <laughs> with the uh, uh, with the five balls and catch them at the end I always give the audience uh, volunteer a net to catch them at the end with this is just a net that I made myself I actually need to replace the fabric on it because it's got a, a few holes I'm not sure if you can see them but there are a few little holes in here you can't see them from the audience but uh, but that needs that needs being replaced but it's always difficult to find this exact fabric I should just buy like loads and loads of that fabric all at the same time I don't know all right follow me down here and um, because now we've got some interesting stuff in my show I do knife juggling on a roller bowler and for that I use three knives but also I have in my show a section if it's if the sea is too rough and I'm working on a cruise ship and the sea is too rough I need to be able to do a, a big like dangerous juggling finale so I do a routine where I juggle three uh, and do lots of tricks with three and then four and I finish off with five knives and um, so that's like two different finales that I can use these knives for so these just go in here it's like I almost uh, designed the case to be exactly the right length and uh, width to do this. Uh, clubs, I pretty much only have one juggling routine with clubs in my show, but I, I, all, I have a few different club routines. So these, I normally just use these once in my show, but I could use them more. And also when I'm just traveling and I'm training, I pretty much only do club juggling and ring juggling. So I always want five clubs. I used to perform with six clubs, but it turns out I was carrying around an extra club just for like one throw when I did that like, uh, you know, like those seven or nine catches with six clubs that I do at the end of my show. So I reduced down to five and now I don't perform six clubs anymore purely to leave more space in the case. Next up, we have a cardboard box, which is made out of a hat box because in here, I have a few things, including my hat, and the hat is a, an opera hat, or a clap hat as it's called in Germany, and I put this on my head, and I do no juggling with it. This is left over from uh, the art of juggling routine with uh, Luke and Polar when we used to perform together, and I would, would pass the hat back and do a few things with the hat, but then I didn't do that. Uh, and now it's only used in one thing in my show where I do a Diablo routine and as I'm doing the, uh, the continuous stick release um, thing where the switch, and I take this off and go like this. And that's the only thing I do except for like the big trick that I take the hat off and back on my head with a Diablo, but no hat juggling at all, which is weird because this is a, a Dubai uh, hat or I bought it from Dubai. I'm not sure the exact, um, what, what it's called, Top Hats of America Inc. Pretty good. And these cost about $250, $300 from Dubai uh, in America. Also in here, I have things like spare Diablo string, which is uh, cool. I have spare rubber bits for the roller bowler. Um, roller bo the roller bowler is, oh, I meant, forgot to mention, that's a play roller bowler. So if you're wondering where to get that, it's from play. Um, I also have things like um, microphone tape to stick a microphone onto my, onto my face. I have uh, uh, makeup to make myself less shiny on stage. I have a, a spare bow tie uh, So I can put that on if I need to I don't perform with a bow tie in a show I also have uh, ping pong balls. I need to put more of these in here, but ping pong balls I use for the ping pong ball uh, routine in my show um, Also in oh, so this all, all fits in here And this is stuff which I I it's like fiddly But I want it to be with the juggling stuff, but also don't want it to get it crushed. So that all goes in this box perfect we have Two 
Um, small base uh, basketballs, uh, Spalding NBA small size, I think these are size one basketballs. These I use for spinning um, and putting on the pedestals, on the head, pen head pedestals as I uh, do the uh, Brun, uh, Francis Brun uh, finale. Normally I would travel with these deflated, but because I'm training with them now, uh, they should still all fit in here though. Yes, I have these two mouth sticks. I have a video about how I made the mouth sticks and these things. These are, these are um, mouth sticks and head pedestals for doing the uh, Brun uh, finale. Uh -huh. I have a whole video about how I made them. They're made out of um, some Diabolos to help them spin around. And um, yeah, what else? Um, tennis ball in a can. I always use uh, new unmodified tennis balls in an unmodified can um, for, for my uh, tennis ball in a can routine. Woo! It's a little bit wobbly, but here we go. Good stuff. That's in like another four or five minutes in my show. Let's do that. Oh, this is the what I call the back net. This actually goes around the back. Come on around the back here. This screws on back here, like this, which means that whenever I finish with something in my show, I can just dump it in here and it doesn't go in here and, and doesn't get tangled up or anything like that. So when I finish with my Diablo routine, I can just dump them in there and then I don't have old props in here. That's um, cool. Is so, it also where the screws with the legs? Yeah, yeah, all, all, all of the screws and the feet and things, they all just go in here because then I can just wrap it up and pop it in here like this. Okay, uh, that's that's pretty good. I also have five silicon balls, which I, I got from, um, oh, where is it? What's from the Netherlands? Is it uh, Spotlight um, from the Netherlands? Oh, I'm not sure now. I only do three of them in my show, but that's it. Look at this. Another ping pong routine, a ping pong ball. Uh, for my three ball and video uh, routine, I'm now using these blue um, uglies. Are they called uglies? They go in there as well. In fact, to be honest, normally they go in my travel bag here, like this. Um, so when I'm traveling with these, I always have five bean bags with me. So in, in my camera laptop bag, travel bag, this is a Peak Design uh, 30 liter, which is fantastic as well. And um, also I normally put my, uh, my dress shoes, my performing shoes in here. It's always difficult to find uh, shoes that I want to perform with because I always need them to be able to do pirouettes and grip but also look good enough and be really comfortable. I've got I've started using these sketches sketches shoes the relaxed fit and they've got this memory foam bottom so I can be training in these for my show and then performing so I might be wearing these for like four hours during the day uh, of my show and I can do these these sketches means that I can relax with my feet anyway this all fits in here um, oh the silicon balls I don't normally travel with in here because they're quite heavy and I uh, normally just put them in my suitcase um, or in my travel case so I have them with me right so what we do is once this is all in here like this this is two different 50 minute shows all in here again having stuff um, with uh, uh, with video screens I never have to carry the video screens with me oh no this is uh, this is a bit broken oh, there we go. Oh, that's not working. should we weigh this see how much it weighs yeah let's do it one of the most important things for when you're traveling around a lot is uh, don't go overweight because as soon as something goes overweight and oversized and that's the other thing I designed this there's a maximum uh, there's a maximum total dimensions that you can take on a plane and that what you can take on a plane it has to be under 50 centimeters and 40 centimeters and 30 centimeters I think that is pretty much in that kind of thing and also you're normally allowed um, 20 uh, 20 is it 22 kilograms which is 40 pounds or something like yeah that. Uh, normally 22 kilograms so I'm going to pop this on. Please step on the scales. Please step on the scales. And it says... 19.8 kilograms, which means that when I go along and they go, oh, this is oversized, I say, no, it's not oversized. And I say, is it overweight? It's never overweight. It's never oversized. And I can fit two different 50 minute shows in here. Um, unfortunately, this will get smashed to pieces or this will get completely wrecked. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this in the carry case so I have a case for my case to protect my case because this has to look good on stage. Um, so Julian is going to press pause and I'm going to put it in its case now and then, uh, and then we'll see what I, uh, what I have. This is a, an old solution I'm going to actually combine. I'm going to combine all of this into one case with the padding and the fabric and repair all of this but uh, that's, a, that's a future project for now. I'm just going to wrap my case up. Just so you know, everything on the outside, these are metal clips, because when I made this before, plastic clips, just moving around in airports and being handled, even people being really careful with it, that just, they'll just get smashed off. Uh, Velcro to keep the straps down as well, really, really handy. The final step is this uh, little trolley, 
and try and uh, go through maybe two or three of these a year. They cost like 35 euros from a department store here in Germany. I've been using these for 10 years. What I do is I always get my, uh, my bag and I pop it on here like this. Nice one. Um, this strap goes here and this strap goes here. And when I'm moving this around, it's like a rolly suitcase. When I travel though, and I check my bag, what, is, what I do is I just take this off here, that goes on the conveyor belt. This, if you leave it on there, it just gets smashed and lost. So this one, I uh, uh, strip down like this, and this goes into my suitcase, and then I check my suitcase as well. So the wheels for one suitcase, or the wheels for one case, gets packed into a different case. All right, that's it. That's how I pack for a gig. Uh, other stuff goes in my other case, like my, my suit that I wear, my costume that I wear on stage. All my travel stuff goes in different bags, but that's how uh, to reduce down, and that's sort of like, what, 13 years of working on cruise ships to reduce down two different shows down into one case. And uh, check out the podcast where I talk about how I learned all those lessons and all the other big juggling projects that I've worked on, big juggling shows which have included things with the bouncing where you have to take slabs around and big constructions and small constructions and technical stuff which just in the end gets cut for the show for carrying weight and technical setup debt and I don't want that. So check out that podcast, um, it'll be posted on YouTube later on but if you want to check it out uh, sooner, you want to get exclusive early access to the podcast, check out uh, patreon.com forward slash Luke Burridge and if you go there as well you can also help just support videos like this, all our convention vlogging, fight night combat, uh, juggling podcast, all the photos and all the other kind of things that we do there. So go on and check out patreon.com forward slash Luke Burridge. Uh, thanks Juliana for filming, I think your arms are a bit tired, yes, yes? Uh, and uh, thanks you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.